morning buddy time to wake up double dukes I got four different flavors this is classic group beer this is orange squeeze I've already drank the vintage cola and the strawberry vanilla and I think these are making my stomach hurt <laughs> Because the last two mornings I've woken up queasy and I drank one of these the day before and they've got prebiotics in it and it's supposed to help with like supporting digestive and immune health but I literally think they're hurting my stomach so I don't know what's going to happen with these two. My husband didn't like them. The oldest kid thought they were meh so I don't think I'd give it to Finley. I think he's too little. Anyways just wanted to share that. I thought I literally bought them because of the packaging because they're so cute, but I think they're making me feel a little ill. I wanted to take a second and suggest these. I find them at Walmart. Um, sometimes they even have them at Dollar Tree. I've seen them at Grocery Outlet, Big Lots, um, but they're usually about a dollar, maybe two, but I think that they're a dollar. Um, I get almost four bowls of cereal for the... Well, Finley. I was going to call him the younger one. You guys can know his name, Finley. Um, and I think that the value with the Ziploc top is so worth it because we waste way less cereal this way. So I just wanted to suggest trying it if you haven't already. I've got right now in the pantry this. We've got uh, like a Captain Crunch. We have Lucky Charms, we have Honey Nut Cheerios, and they're all sealed up, and they're just getting eaten whenever. So, if you don't do this, I highly suggest it. I know sometimes packing lunches can be overwhelming to people. My main advice to you is just keep your pantry or selections, like, plentiful. As long as you do that, your lunches will come together just fine. This is Brody's lunch today. He's got some little Cheez-Its, a Crustable. There's some fruit over here, like um, leftover blueberries and raspberries from a charcuterie board I made. He's got some cucumbers and ranch, and then I put some spicy Cheetos in his. Finley has a Crustable. He's got graham crackers in this. There is goldfish. He's got brownie bites, a apple granola bar, and then blueberries, oranges, and then the leftover of cucumber. For me, I made myself a turkey Swiss sandwich. Um, I put this, this is leftover from the charcuterie board, and I just want to tell you guys, so tasty. I thought it would be good on a ham sandwich, so got that. This stuff is so good. I found it in the deli section at a Safeway, and it's so good with pretzels. So this is gonna be like my main all day snack. Like I'm just gonna keep it at my desk and snack on it. It's gonna give me crazy breath, which is gonna be unfortunate inside my mask, but it's worth it. <laughs> and then I've been eating these yogurts, the coconut milk yogurt alternative. I really like the coconut undertone of these. I think they're really yummy. So I got that. And then I just got a couple pieces of fruit to throw over the top. So this is ideally my breakfast, my all day snack, and then my actual lunch. Um, and then I have a little treat. You can see I am traveling today with a blanket ghost in the back. It's very mysterious. Nobody knows who he is. But he's blue and he's got Pokemon all over him. He's my blanket ghost. He smells like a little boy, though. I am. What? Hey, oh! Hey. It's you in there. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Why? Because stop. You stop. Uh, today is one of those days where I uh, edited a YouTube video this morning, and it was super fun. The clips all went on there quickly. The Literally, the thing that slowed me down is it's been so long that I couldn't remember the editor that I used for my thumbnails. I went through three different websites trying to remember, and then I couldn't remember little things with iMovie. Like, for a minute, I couldn't remember where transitions were, and then I couldn't remember how to, like, properly 
clip thing so it was kind of like a slow learning curve but I got it fully edited it's um, uploading to a format that YouTube likes as I left it this morning so tonight I can post it and be back which is pretty cool so I thought well we'll do a little video today and just see how that goes check in after work because well <laughs> I'm busy <laughs> yeah baby I needed a phone to video You know, you're busy all day and then you're like, but did I complete what I put down that I wanted to complete? No. No. <laughs> That's the kind of day I had, but good thing it's just Monday. Tomorrow, I'm called a worker of the day, which means I take extra phone calls in all day. So, um, I'm going to try and take it easy with my goals tomorrow. We'll see how far I get. Right now it's kind of tricky because one, I don't get overtime because I'm on a trial period, like proving myself. Two, um, I'm learning and so I have so many more questions. And three, basically everything I'm touching like that matters is being audited. So it's like I go to a certain point and then I have to halt and wait. Um, so there's just different levels of um, issues this month and I had four days yeah four days off of work that was four business days that I could have worked towards my work but I was on vacation so that work didn't go anywhere <laughs> so anyways there's always tomorrow it's just fine I'm at the um taco place called Victor Rico's they're some sort of franchise we've had them before and they were good um, but I'm bringing that home for dinner because the guy that is coming to our house tonight in about 45 minutes is going to be bringing paperwork for us to sign um, to refinance the house. So it'll be official, official signatures down and then we should get the money sometime around Thanksgiving, maybe after. But I'm so excited to have it to start our house projects. Like... It's going to be so cool. I can't, I can't wait. I can't wait to actually have the money to do these things. Anyways, I just wanted to update you guys on where we're at. And I will pick up the camera and share something with you guys tonight. I don't know. PSA. Okay. It's Tuesday morning. I'm exhausted. I slept in and... I need to be getting ready right now, but these things, these things that I've seen on um, social media, ashwagandha gummies. So, Sunday night I tried them and I didn't go to bed until probably around 11 and was tired yesterday morning. Did this again yesterday around seven. Same exact thing. It's like for some reason these are keeping me up for a little bit because normally I fall asleep around ten. But I need that extra hour that I lost the last couple of nights. <laughs> and I'm not normally this tired in the morning. And yesterday morning I was tired, but I pushed through it. But this morning I'm very tired, and I'm not normally very tired. And this is the only thing that's changed. So, relax, restore, unwind. I think if I ever take these, it would have to be maybe on a weekend and like midday. Because it says you can take them 
daily, like twice daily. So I don't get it. I don't understand these. Have you guys tried these? I, am I doing it wrong? Is there more to the instructions? But right now, all I know <laughs> is I wish I hadn't taken them. <laughs> Lunches again, figured I'd show ya. Got for Finley a little yogurt. I found these cookies at um, Walmart and I thought they were so cute, but they don't really taste like anything. <laughs> They're kind of bland. Um, Finley likes them though, so he can have those. A couple oranges, a cheese stick, some pizza flavored goldfish today, a um, Halama Roma chewy dip bar, trusty Uncrustables, and then um, I am going to let the cat take with a rubber band to the top. That's his meals for all day. Brody just needs lunch, so he's got an Uncrustable. I got him that fruit boba. Um, thing that I hold. I want to see if you guys can see the bobas in here. See? Isn't that fun? The little balls of juiciness. I'm going to see if he notices. I will keep you guys posted if he says anything about that. But a Capri Sun and an apple. He likes to have like just an apple or um, orange or something in there. Like a simple fruit to eat. Okay, my turn. I messed up yesterday and I'm really angry about it. I never ate my yogurt. When I came home, I was preparing for that um, guy to come sign papers, so my yogurt went bad because it stayed out all night. So I got the strawberry one, and I never ate my fruit with it yesterday, so I'm going to eat that for breakfast. I got these things for snacks. I really wanted to try the boba fruit thing, so I just need a lunch, and I have no idea yet what I'm doing. I think I'm going to try this for lunch today. It looks really good on the box. We'll see. It says it's made from scratch. It cooks forever. <laughs> like six minutes. But, uh, I don't know. Hopefully it's good because once I've spent that much time in the office, I can't leave on my lunch break. So, this message is to Kennedy from Logue's Life. She'll probably never, ever see this. Because I don't even think that they watch my stuff. But, I got the caramel brulee latte from Starbucks and she said in a comment um, with her mom Kennedy works at Starbucks by the way she made a comment that she's been adding oat milk to everything because it tastes better so I'm like I suggested oat milk in this instead of milk and it's better it's like taking hot cop hot cup <laughs> a hot cup of coffee and a warm piece of bread and enjoying them at the same time, which I love both things. So, cheers to Kennedy for her suggestion of oat milk. And it makes me feel a little bit better. I still have whipped cream, but like a little bit better that I, that I didn't put a cow to work. <sighs> Nummy. Starbucks for me is one of those weird drinks where it's like, I do think Dutch Brothers taste better but I feel like there's something in Starbucks that's a little bit addicting, to be honest, because you think about it. You think about it. If you've had it a couple times, you think about it. And I think that's weird. Like what's different about their coffee that you get hooked like that? But people get like that with Dutch Brothers too, so I don't know. Anyways, I'm tired. Today is my worker of the day day, so that means it could be crazy. It could be fine. I don't, I don't know. We'll see as the day unfolds. Um, I'm hoping it's a chill day because um, I got stuff to get done. I got questions on my stuff that I need to get done. Hope that you guys are having a great day though. And I just needed to do a little shout out to Miss Bar Barista? Bartista? Barista. Kennedy at Starbucks on the oat milk suggestion because chef's kiss sister. I'm home, dinner is in the oven and in the air fryer. I'm making some Reuben sliders, so good. And I'll show those to you guys in a little bit. Um, and then just tots. I'm gonna have a little side salad with mine because tots kind of sounds heavy. But I wanted to show you guys the nail stickers that I've been getting. I found them through Etsy and she's always doing sales. When I bought these nails, um, the sets were like $3.98 a set. 
and I like to put them on my nails with a shellac top coat and they last me at least a week. So I want to show them to you guys because I think they're so awesome. Here's some of the designs I picked out. I figured I would like this after the holidays and I've kind of had a weird like attachment to butterflies lately. So we got that. This seemed like it would be super fun like around St. Patrick's Day. I really, really like the glitter and the rainbow. I've got these super fun galaxy ones. I've actually had galaxy ones before, but they called to me, so I got them again. These are just some fun little funky dinosaur ones. I said, why not? For some reason, these would be really cute, like end of winter, going into spring, just something fun. These ones are super pretty. They're like a marble and they've got like a gold flake little accent in them and then for the holiday season I saw these and they gave me all the awesome Christmas sweater vibes cannot wait and then there was these ones that I will do as well look at sparkly trees and snowmen I love 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 highly recommend this brand on Etsy so for dinner I made these Reuben sliders, highly recommend them. Um, you take dinner rolls, you cut them in half, you take a whole stick of butter and a fourth a cup of Italian seasoning, you melt it, put it aside. On this, you put um, corned beef, however much you want, a slice of Swiss cheese over that, and then half of it, I put kraut on it. Um, so this is really like Ryan and I's half, and then the kiddos, I leave the kraut off. But you put the top on and then you put that buttery Italian dressing mixing over it, cover it with foil and you bake it, I think it was 350 um, for 20 minutes and it's done and it's so good. I just had to share that because I'm excited. Oh. See Finn, you don't really understand but mom used to make YouTube videos a lot. And You're I, making one. And right now I'm making one. So you're a piece of it. What do you want to say on YouTube? <laughs> Sounds about right. Do you think you look like me? Hey. Do you think you look like me? Yeah? What? Why, how do we look alike? The same. We look the same? Okay, do a face. I'm going to do the same face. You do a face. Do a different face. Do a different face. It's so tough in me. <laughs> Who's a cool mom that made a bed fort? Who? Me. You didn't do it. Yes, I did. You helped with a couple steps. Yeah. This is this is like this is this is legit. This is craftsmanship. Let's see what it's like inside. Oh yeah, that's cool. That's cool, scoot over. <laughs> oh yeah, this is nice. Is this where you're gonna sleep? Yes. Oh gosh, got a little window. Well, look at the view. Look at the view. You have a view. <laughs> what do you think, Rose? What do you think? Is this acceptable? Mm -hmm. Can I see the video? Amazing. Can I see the video? See your face. <laughs> I would just like to state, as I come in here praying to the sock gods, that I will find a matching pair of socks that my child will wear. He won't wear these. I don't know why I still have them. They're all too small or they hurt his toes or they just make his feet hurt. Please let me find a match of one of these socks. I'd like to shout out here to Iron Man. I'm impressed with your moves, sir. <laughs> it's cold, you guys. I'm cold. Figured I'd pop in on Thanksgiving Eve here and say thank you guys for watching the last couple of days. 
just little clips here and there. It was fun videoing and kind of finding that groove again and sharing little bits of life. Um, I'm very excited for tomorrow and eating all the food and hanging out with family. And I just want to let all y'all know out there um, that Thanksgiving is just about being thankful and our thankfuls are gonna look different across the board. So please take the moment to just find those little things of joy in your life and put them on a pedestal for the day. Um, life is a blessing, even if it's crazy. Life is a blessing. And I truly, truly believe that. Um, anywho, thank you guys for watching. Take care, love always, and I'll see you in the next video.